I can guess your birthday by using a very simple and a nice trick. You just have to follow some steps that I am going to tell you in this video. So, are you ready? Hey everyone, this is Saili and welcome back to another interesting video. So, let's start. Step number one, take your birthday. For example, suppose your birthday is on 12th, then you take the number 12. Now, step number two, you just multiply that number by 5. Have you done this? Now, next step is you add 5 to the answer. Now, the next step is you multiply the whole thing by a number 20. So, have you done this? The next step is add month of your birth. For example, suppose you born in April, then add 4 to the previous answer. Now, the next step is you just subtract 100 from the whole thing. Now, we are very close to the answer. You have a 4 digit number or a 3 digit number. The last 2 digit number of that number is your month of birth and whatever is the remaining part that is nothing but your birthday. Am I right? I am sure that I am right because I have a proof. So let's see it. Step number one is we were taking birthday. So it can be a two digit number or a single digit. So let's take it as say AB. Suppose it is single digit number then A is zero. Now the next step is we are multiplying this number by five. Right. So that is five times AB. In the next step, we are adding 5. So, add 5 to it. Now, we are multiplying this by 20. Right? So, this becomes 20 times 5 is 100 times this number AB that is birthday and 20 times 5 is again 100. Right? Now, the next step is we are adding month of your birthday, right? So that month, let's denote this by say CD. That is again a two digit number or it can be a single digit number. So just add the month of your birth. So this becomes 100 times AB plus 100 and plus CD, right? Now in the next step, we are subtracting 100. So this becomes 100 times AB plus CD, right? But this is nothing but AB 0, 0, right? Because we are multiplying by 100. Suppose that AB is 23, then 100 times 23 becomes 23, 0, 0, 2300. So that is what I have written here. And this CD is as it is. Now the whole thing becomes A, B, C, D. Right? This is 0, 0 and we are adding this CD. So this is A, B, C, D. So this is a 3 digit number or a 4 digit number depends on this A is 0 or not. Right? So you just split like this. The last 2 digit is nothing but the month of your birthday and the remaining part that means this part is your birthday. I hope you like this proof. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet again in the next interesting video. So stay tuned.